Well, hey guys, so it's been a little while since I last made a video, so I thought I'd make one today. I'm out here, this is my bean field. So a few videos back, I talked about that. I tilled it up and started planting it. Anyways, it's been like three weeks now since that point, and as you can see, the beans are up. Um, you may notice all these rows here, that every other corrugate has been watered. I ended up watering it. Um, because typically with beans, you plant them after pre-irrigating. So there's a lot of moisture in the ground. You plant them and then there's that moisture there to help them start growing and come out of the ground. Anyways, since we got this filled at late notice, um, we didn't have time to pre-irrigate. We needed to just get the beans in before it got too late. So anyways, we got them planted, waited a few days, and nothing was happening. There, nothing was coming up. So anyways, the planter has some little shovels on the back that dug a little bit of a corrugate, and it worked. We got water through most of it. There's a little bit over there where the rows get long that the water didn't quite make it through. But for the most part, it did. Over here was fine, because the rows are so short. But anyways, um, and then there it crossed a lot in the middle of the field, so I had to fix a lot of crossings. But luckily, now, the beans are up, so we can cultivate them. I have, I have the cultivator here. Um, we couldn't before, I don't think I mentioned this. We couldn't before because when they were under the ground still, we don't want to bury them. So we could have corrugated or cultivated them, but we would have had to drive super slow and it, it just would have been kind of difficult to do. But anyways, now that they're up, it's safe to cultivate them. I might have to adjust some the shields. There's these rolling shields back here and the beans go in between them and it, they're supposed to keep the dirt from getting on top of the beans, covering up the beans. But anyways, I might have to adjust those a little bit. We'll see. I have them really low because we cultivated all the other beans, my dad and my uncles, and those were a little bean, so the plant was smaller. These plants are, this is a big bean, and the plant is bigger. It's already bigger than the other beans we've done. So anyways, the, the position we have those shields in right now, they might start cutting off the plants or cutting the leaves off. So anyways, I'm going to start up here, make adjustments as needed, and then start making my way across the field. Okay, so I think I've got it set up pretty much how I want it. Going about three and a half to four mile an hour. That's why I didn't film any of the other cultivating, because it's kind of slow and boring. So since this is my own field, I'm a little more excited about it. So. Anyways, it's about how I want it. I don't think the core gates are quite as deep as I want them over there. But this this got through super fast. Like the water was through to the end of the end of the field in like 30 minutes. So, anyways, these don't need to be very deep. But over there. I'm probably gonna have to make them a little deeper. Not much, but maybe a little bit. So anyways. I'm gonna keep rolling here. The hardest part now is just getting it lined up. Um, so that the, the beans go in between those shields back there. I just have to shift a little bit with the GPS and try to get that to line up good. Because if I don't, then it'll start covering them and make a mess. So, anyways. Okay, as I'm making my way over here, you can kind of see these spots through here. You can see a little more dirt. Those are all the areas where it was. it started crossing from one corrugate to the other. And we don't want that. So, anyways, 
for this last irrigation, all these spots where it crossed, I had to come out with the shovel and fix them. So anyways, now that I'm into that area, I've lowered the little, there's an individual gauge wheel for each of these unit type things. So anyways, I lowered all the ones that have a shovel digging in a, digging out a corrugate that I'm going to run water down. The others I just left, they don't have to be deep because we only water every other corrugate. So anyhow, um, yeah, hopefully I got them deep enough. They are definitely deeper than they were. So hopefully my goal is just to not have to spend like 30 minutes every time I move or check this um, cleaning crossings out out of the field so anyways mile an hour now. Seems to be doing pretty good. It's not burying anything. So, anyways, that's how much I've done. Got that much more to go. Pass-wise, I'm about halfway. But these get a lot longer and these are really short. So I'm not halfway yet in the way of acres. Anyways, still got a little ways. Okay, so right here is an example. This row and on got water down through it, but these four here didn't. So you can see that's a lot smaller. They are, they did come up in the end, but they didn't really, they're kind of, they're behind everything else. So anyways, hopefully by cultivating them and getting a good corrugate we can get the water to go through all the way get them watered but anyways okay so this area right here as you can see here there's a lot of crossing that happened this stretch right through here so I'm actually gonna try doing it twice um, and then I can kind of see what's if it's any better than there's a section over there that I didn't do twice because I, I didn't think to do it but anyways um, I did it just once this was definitely worse up through here so I'm gonna do this area twice and then the very end I can just do once so Anyways, the first time through might probably would be sufficient, but I'm just, just gonna try it two times. Just because this is a flat area right here and I don't wanna be spending a bunch of time out here fixing crossings. When if I do it twice, I can eliminate all of them. Okay, I'm on my last pass. I'm only making this pass because I have two extra rows over here. But anyways, that and then I'm done. And that'll be it for cultivating beans. For the first cultivation anyways. I'm planning to hopefully film a little more of the second cultivation because the beans are big and so we can drive really fast. I mean, maybe not really fast, but faster than this because they like dirt at that point. Anyways, they like it up around them. So I'm gonna fold up now. I think this side goes up first. You have to watch it and stop it because if you just keep going too fast, you gotta let those kind of fall down gently. And if you just held it down, it'd like throw them back and you could break something. So anyways, same on the other side. Just like that. And there we go. 
Okay, just got on the road here. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Uh, I hope it was entertaining. I feel like I talked more than I showed the equipment, but I guess that's kind of... I tend to talk more when I am not doing the job for very long, and that didn't take too long. So, anyways, I'm going to head up unhook the cultivator and put the tractor away and then anyways um there's not gonna be much variety in my videos for probably the rest of the year um i don't know i shouldn't say that there might be but anyways really all that's left is just hay we'll do three more cuttings of hay in fact we cut our hay under a pivot so we got 40 acres there it was cut yesterday. We're just cutting it a little bit younger to sell it with dairy. So they asked for some younger hay, so we cut that. So we'll be bailing and getting that off probably next week. Um, then anyways, other than that, I think I'm hoping to be working for my neighbor again. Uh, I don't know what I'll be doing there, though, and if it'll be something that'll be filmable um, if anything maybe I can hopefully put out some more shorts the YouTube shorts those are easy to make kind of give little little updates on what's going on so anyways uh, that's all I got so thanks for watching thanks for putting up with my talking and we'll catch in the next one